Hello everybody, this is Vertical Sandwich, and welcome back to uh, Let's Post Commentate Dragon Quest 8. Uh, because I did everything wrong in this video. I came in here unprepared, I made a bunch of stops to check things out and research things, I made some pretty huge mistakes. So, uh, anyway, we're at Paracrin K, um, and uh, we won't actually be um, uh, doing anything too crucial at this point, but, and... I actually ended up um, editing two videos together after taking out kind of all the garbage. And so rather than leave an audio break in that sounds just like a complete and total nightmare, um, that I just decided to scrap everything and just do this. So here we go. Anyway, um, so uh, here comes uh, mistake number one. You ready for this, everybody? Um, don't buy the Thorn Whip for Jessica. Just don't. Don't do it. You don't need it. You'll never need it. I don't think. And if you do need it, you can always come back for it. it it'll become apparent why we don't need the Thorn Whip for Jessica, but just don't do it. Just don't buy it. it just, you don't need to buy it. it. Doesn't make any sense. Uh, so, we'll be, uh, we bought it, and we're going to have it, but you don't need to. So, don't. And, uh, certainly don't bankrupt yourself, um, buying it. Like, that took us down to, uh, to, to 17 gold. Which doesn't seem too important, but, uh, it's gonna be in a minute when I try to stay at the end. So, uh, yeah. Anywho, uh, so hooray for mistakes and editing and craziness. Actually, that was the big problem. The big problem was the space for, um, the space for uh, videos where, like, I time by kind of what I do, but, like, there was so much stuff where I had to, like, where the game stops and I had to cut out video and stuff. That, like, I ended up with a video that was, like, nine minutes long and had nothing in it. And then, like, another video that was really long and had, like, huge breaks where I, like, disappeared and stuff. So, like, where it seriously just stopped playing and, like, left the room and, like, was just like, oh, I'll cut that out later. But then it threw off my old timing. Anyway, so... Uh, enough of that. Enough of that. So my hope that we would get gold out of this, enough gold to pay for the inn, which again, we're a uh, dollar short, uh, was fruitless. Which I would have known if I had done my research before coming into this area. But I didn't, so... Usually I'm pretty good about that. I'm not, like, I'm actually kind of surprised. I'm surprised that, like, I'm not, you know, like, I don't know. It's, I want to say humbling. It's disconcerting more than anything, because, like, there's no excuse to not be on top of a video game. Like, especially a video game you just played through, that, like, you have incredible resources for. Like, um, you know, like, I should know what's going on, and it shouldn't be, like... I shouldn't, uh, my mistake though, and I, and I will say this, because now we're post-commentary, we can talk about, kind of break the fourth wall and talk about whatever's going on. Um, the, uh, my, my real mistake is not running a practice file directly in front of this. Um, so everything's fresh in my mind that I got carried away in my practice file and actually have, at this point, beaten the game. My practice file is done. And so I can't remember any of the stuff I did in there. So, I don't remember what I was thinking with that second chest talk. But what I should have done now was I should have uh, I should have left the inn and I didn't because if you leave the inn at this point Trode will send you back in. He has a completely different dialogue where he sends you back in to find this item that you get from this guy. So this guy has quit his life of crime and he will give us an iron nail. An iron nail is actually one of the more important alchemy pot items. There are some items for the alchemy pot that are just going to be indispensable to you. And Iron Nail is one of them. When we come across other ones, um, Dragon Scale will be another one. And things like that. And then there'll be some that are just crazy good, um, but really rare. And we won't be missing those. So anyway, so we take this guy's Iron Nail, and like now Trode will let us leave town because now we can make the thing that we have to make in the Alchemy Pot. I'm sure you can. You could probably avoid making it, but like we're not going to because it makes sense. But the thing that we make, and this is another thing that really messed up the, the kind of the commentary and stuff, is that the thing that we make will, um, 
keep us from kind of leaving the area. Ugh. So anyway, so here comes Trode, and he'll yell at us. Or talk to us or something. Ah, there you are. I've been waiting for you. I hope you haven't forgotten about the alchemy pot. You really should give it a try. If you've forgotten about the alchemy pot, you're an idiot, because it's one of the most important aspects of the game. What's that? You say you don't know what to make? Well, I know what to make. Well, I'm sure you'll come across some recipes as we travel from place to place. And we will. We'll find them on bookshelves and stuff. Inside your bag? I'll list them in video descriptions, well, too. Well, you already have enough items to make some very interesting things. See, now, he doesn't say this if you don't get Just the iron nail. Some ingredients and see he says something come else. Up with. Practice makes perfect. God, post-commentary so I'm disconcerting. Sure you can imagine, making new things from old ones can take a little while. Okay. Don't worry, though. After you set the pot going, you can go back to whatever you were doing. It'll let you know when it's done. Okay. The way it works. Use the miscellaneous menu to open yeah. the alchemy pot. We put things in the alchemy pot, and then just go back to what we're doing, and when the alchemy pot's done, it dings. It dings like a freaking microwave. It's the medieval microwave that microwaves random things we put in. So, what we're gonna do, first off, things you put in can't be equipped. Not a big deal. Just something to note. Second, um... Wait. Oh, if you put the wrong things in, it will spit them back out without them being harmed. That's good to know. Now, um, what we're going to make is we're going to take the bronze knife we found on the boat. So hopefully you got that. And the iron nail and mix them together. And then we've got to run around here until it spits out the really cool thing that needs to be spit out. So there we go. Simple enough. And if you do it right, it'll start bubbling like that, and he'll say, Oh, I do believe you're onto something here. There you go. Good stuff. Yeah, it takes time before the item is ready. How about you leave it for the time being? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. So now, we have nothing else to do. But at this point, I actually decided to end the video. So, um, and you can see we're seven and a half minutes in. It wouldn't have... Who makes a seven and a half minute video? So we'll be doing that, and you'll just have to pretend that I said something clever and witty. Why don't you do that right now? Pretend that I'm saying something amazing, like that I'm reciting Shakespeare, like to be or not to be, whether tis nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, and something, something, something. That's as far as I can get in that quote. Um, although I could, I could do. She walks in beauty like the night of cloudless climes and starry skies, and all that's best of bold and bright meet in her aspect and her eyes, thus mellowed to the tender light which night to God he gave denies. That's from Lord Byron, She Walks in Beauty. Um, or I could quote um, the raven, I could say, uh, Be that word our sign of parting, bird or fiend, I shrieked up starting, get thee back into the tempest in the night's Plutonian shore, leave no black plume as a token of that lie thy soul has spoken, leave my loneliness unbroken. Quit the bust of my door, take thy beak from out my heart, and take thy form from off my door, quoth the raven, nevermore. I try to memorize a poem from every poet that I like. So. Um. I know, it's bizarre, isn't it? Like, here, stay here and help here, just do that. Jehovah buried Satan dead, do fears worship much and quick. Badness not being felt is bad itself, thinks goodness what is meek. Obasis talks of its, take eternity's a five-year plan. If joy with pain shall hang in hock, who dares to call himself a man? It's from E. Cummings, Jehovah buried Satan dead. Anyway, oh my god, okay. <laughs> That's right, we're playing a game. Uh... Oh, that was perfect timing. We we're just coming out of the end when I said that. Anywho. Uh, here we have new enemies. Yay, new enemies. She slimes. That's probably a reference that I don't get. Like, she slimes sounds like a, a really crazy 80s hit. Like, like she, like she rides or something. Like, she slimes. Like, I don't know. I also can't help thinking of Ghostbusters whenever I hear slimes. God, we just went all over the place. That's what I should have done when I started this post-commentary, was just started busting out crazy stuff like poetry that I can recite at a mile a minute. Anyway, I actually at one point had all 18 verses of the Raven memorized. I Now I kind of stumble on the middle six verses, because they're weird. They're really repetitive. Oh, the treasure chest is locked. Of course it's locked. Ugh. Anyway, so yeah, if you come over here, um, there's a locked treasure chest. And, again, one of those non-random encounter monsters that we passed. Um, 
Oh, we locked out here because these things are... Oh, that is not a fungal, people. That is the next level up. And bullfinches, which I think are really funny because they're like... They look like bulls, but they have like crappy little like wing arms. It's just so sad. Alright. Oh, um, yeah. Morphean Mushrooms is apparently the next level. So, Jessica's whip hits multiple enemies. It's good to know. However, she can't hit all of them like our main character can with the boomerang. She can only hit groups of enemies, which sometimes can be a disadvantage. So, you know, it doesn't help us when two of something appears and they're both counted as a separate group. Sometimes that will happen, so... She will get an ability later that doesn't necessarily hit all enemies, but we can kind of use to compensate. I'll explain when we get it. Oh! Well, we don't need Yankus to kill this thing anyway. Oh, we might, actually, because Jessica's pretty weak. Well, wake him up if you're going to hit him. Three points of damage. That's so sad. We'll fix that in a second, though. All right. We've actually, um... I know this is obnoxious, but we're going to hang around this... Well, we're going to heal right now, but we're going to hang around this area until uh, that alchemy pot dings, because the thing that I need is... Um, but you got to watch it, because, like I said, you know, we had a, um, a thing. There was a non-random encounter when we were coming through here, one of those hood guys with the hammers. And we may have, we might have been able to get away with hitting him, but I think up here there's a different enemy that there's no way it would just slaughter us. Because so. they range, like those non-random encounters enemies, some of them are pretty, pretty pathetic. And some of them we could beat right now. Uh, like there's one that's just a slime. I think his name is Smiley. And uh, if we fought him right now, we'd win. But... Uh, there are crazy versions of later enemies that would just destroy us. So, anyway, more poetry? No, no more poetry, Vertical Sandwich! You're not here for poetry! You're here for post-commentary! Oh, that's right, post-commentary. I should maybe get that Shakespeare monologue down. When would that ever be useful? When would you ever be able to, like, I've only... Um, oh, okay, and so if you go into the alchemy pot before it's done, it'll say, I'm sure it's not going to be, and it'll give you the option of quitting halfway through, and if you do that, you'll lose your items, just so you know. So keep that in mind if you ever get something that you can use in a really, really awesome combination. Finish what you start if what you start is, you know, and at this point, we can't afford to not finish what we started, because it's going to be a while before we get another iron nail. In fact, we may not ever get another one until we get one from a random item drop from an enemy. Which is a shame, because we could use another one right now. But... Oh, that darn Winky. Yeah. In your face, bulldog guy. Yeah, Aw. We still didn't get him. <laughs> Kill that guy! The enemies are defeated. Yay! Okay, so... Uh, onward, forward, yay! Without my poetry, I don't know what to say. Okay, there was our ding. So, now we have our item. And our item is awesome. The thing that we have made... Ah, the moment of truth, I can hardly wait. You made a thief's key! Now what we have here, why, if I'm not mistaken, that's a thief's key. Well done, Switch. You've created a rare item indeed. This is the first specimen I've ever seen. Jelly good show. Okay, so, um, the thief's key will allow us to open a lot of treasure chests. Which is why we're hanging around here. It's because there are treasure chests in the town we just came through. Um, oh, okay. Sorry, I got ahead of myself. But what you want to do is you want to free up a scale shield. Because you can combine the Leather Whip with Scale Shield to make Jessica's a more powerful whip for Jessica. So you never need to buy that stupid chain whip. That's why I said don't buy it. Don't waste your money. Because you can do this right away with the Alchemy Pot. So we'll get that started. Um, and uh, we're coming up on the end of this video, folks. So 
we will um, be back on track into normal LPR land uh, in a minute. So, thanks for watching, and uh, you guys take care. And as always, um, wait, that's not what I usually. Whatever. <laughs> Bye, everybody.